Hello, my crafty friends. My name is Denise Becker, and I'm uh, from sunny Florida, and I'm coming on uh, early in the morning. I have not been crafting all night long. I did craft all day and then took a long nap and woke up, and I wanted to finish, so I came in here, and I'm just about done with a huge portion of what I needed to get done. Four packages are ready to go. <laughs> um, but I wanted to show, I needed some um, uh, uh, gift card holders, and I wanted them in a card form. So, um, I found, um, uh, Mary, let's see, what's her name? I'm sorry, Mary Nabe. Uh, she's a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and she, it's her video tutorial is called Nine Quick and Easy Gift Card uh, Holders. And the reason she did that is because she took one 12 by 12 piece of paper, which I'm using, um, it's gorgeous, it's retired, but it's called Heart and Home. And uh, I just took a 12 by 12 piece of paper, uh, this one I believe, and what you do is you just um, cut out four, a four inch, three four inch um, panels, and then you turn you turn them and cut out um, three four inch squares. So that'll make nine cards, and that's exactly what I did. And just uh, this is non-directional, so um, you don't have to worry about that. But uh, yeah, that's all. That's you don't have to make nine. You can just make one. But I went ahead because I needed some cards, so. Um, I did that. Now, um, let's see. Uh, let's see. What am I, t let's see. Okay. What I'm, what I need, what I, uh, need was, and I, I did use, um, three different colors of cardstock I used that coordinate with this paper. Um, fresh freesia, garden green, and pale papaya. And I also did use some, um, cinnamon cider and backed, um, let me see. They're all different. Uh, backed um, the DSP on the front. So yeah, here's the green. Then I used some another strip of DSP over here on the side and for this one and then for this one. Can you all see? Gosh, I'm not even paying attention. Yeah, so, yeah sending happy thoughts. And these are gift card holders, but they're cards. Here's where you're going to hold your gift cards. So super simple, super simple. Um, so let me think. Um, uh, what you need to start out with is a piece of four and a quarter by 11. And you're gonna score it. Um, so I've already done that. Um, I'm gonna score it at one and a quarter and then five and a half. And that's you know, your standard you know, card fold. And then where you scored it at one and a quarter, you're just gonna lightly, lightly glue the very um, edges of that of that score and put, fold it in and that's going to hold your gift card um, what did I do with my gift card I wanted to show y'all it fits yeah yeah see it fits right in here uh, like that or like that either way whichever you want to do it's fine and I didn't put this usually you'll put that little semicircle but it's not necessary with this because this is so Thin, so it's not necessary to do it like that so um yeah so you, you score at one and a quarter and five and a half and then fold this one and a quarter back and glue just the edges together okay and then you're gonna need um, your four by four piece of designer series paper to go on the front and I did back mine in uh, four and an eight by four and an eight in cinnamon cider because that does coordinate with this um, paper pack and then I did put a piece of fresh freesia since I'm using fresh freesia uh, ribbon on the front like this and then I use my layering circle dies and cut out this and then the scallop just to you know to do this and all of them are a little teeny bit. I've, get, I've already wrapped them up, a lot of them, because they're going in the mail. So like this one, I stamped a little bee. This one, I put a little dragonfly on. And this one, I use, I think I'm gonna use these little trinket bees I have. These are all retired, but I just, I'm using this stuff up. I'm using it up. And I just think that's adorable. I love this paper. So yeah, it's just a standard card. It's just, you're gonna fold back a one and a quarter inch that's it and glue glue down the sides and then you're gonna need a piece if you want you don't have to but I just thought it looked nice 
um, of one by four, just to put in on the inside of here, and on your inside of your card, and you don't have to, you could use, you could leave it white. Um, you know, don't put any paper there. You could emboss a piece of cardstock. That would be nice. Um, but this would be one and a quarter by four, and I just uh, went all the way to the edge and then stamped. This is going to be a thank you card, and I just stamped. Uh, Your kindness means everything to me on the inside. So very, very simple, simple card. And then I have my um, four by four piece of DSP. And, oh my gosh, it's moving again. Oh boy, what the heck is going on here? I'm so sorry, y'all. Not even paying. You know, I just tightened everything up too. I just tightened it up and I thought, okay, it's fine now. Apparently not. I'm so sorry. Okay, I've really got to work on this thing. I'm too tired now. <laughs> I'm going to bed now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, so I hope y'all got, it's very easy, just, you know, just a simple, um, you know, instead of, uh, cutting it at five and a half and scoring at four and a quarter, you're cutting it at, um, four and a quarter and scoring at five and a half, same thing, uh, and then just folding that back. So, I've got my inside done, and I've got the little pocket for the gift card holder done, and I went ahead and put the DSP on. And then on the front, I did just put a piece of uh, Fresh Freesia ribbon that matched this. And I'm just going to glue. God, this phone. Oh, my. I don't know what the heck. I've got to work on this. Because it is something is wrong. And I just tightened it up. I said, okay, I think it's good now. Apparently not. Shoot. Okay. So, I did want to. Let me go ahead and glue this front on and I'm going to open it up just to make it and see I just I just taped the ribbon with scotch tape on the back that's all I do nothing fancy um, and then I'm just going to glue this uh, uh, like I said 4x4 four four DSP and then 4 and an eighth by 4 and an eighth of the cinnamon cider and, uh, and then I put the ribbon around that and then I'm going to put this this is the front of the card I'm gonna, that's only going to leave an eighth of an inch of a border, just like that, okay? And then I did, this is going to be a thank you card. Oh, my gosh. Oh, what is going on here? I'm so sorry, y'all. I don't understand it. I just, I just, I just tightened everything up, and it was nice and tight, and um, I don't know what's going on. I'm, I'm going to, I'm sorry. Okay, so we've got this on there, and I just wanted to show y'all um, something, uh, 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 how to mask if you want, like, see, what I want to do is stamp this flower on here, and then I want to put a leaf behind it, but in order to do that, I have to first, I stamp the flower on a piece of um, Stampin' Up! Cells masking paper. You can use... Um, um, post-it notes just use the sticky part just stamp your image and then cut it cut it out completely all the way you know cut it right up to the edge okay so and this this is just gonna peel back because this is masking paper so it's sticky on one it's got a sticky back uh, stamping up masking paper is what I use and I just like to do it it's really cool cool technique so I stamp thank you on here and this is photopolymer so I'm gonna bring in my mat and I'm going to go ahead and use the fresh freeze. Oh my gosh, I got happy mail. Oh my gosh, I forgot to show y'all. Oh, God. see, I'm rushing. I'm tired now. <laughs> this thing's aggravating me. Okay, so now I'm going to stamp the little flower down here in the fresh freezer. Okay, just like that. I stamp thank you. It's not the same flower that goes with the um, paper, but close enough. None of them, uh, some of them, uh, yeah, uh, maybe a couple of them I got flowers, but I, you know, they, it was mainly just cutting out uh, a whole bunch of little flowers and having to piece them together, which is what I did here. I cut it out in, uh, cut it out in green, and then I cut it out again in fresh freesia, and then some I cut out in, um, whatever colored uh, cardstock I was using. All right, which does this go to? And I used a multitude of, um, does this go to this one? Um, 
uh, no, no, this is not, of stamps to get different flowers and sentiments. Um, yeah. So there's a whole bunch. I don't even want to go through all of them. But anyway, okay, so I've stamped the um, flower on here, okay? And now I'm now that I've stamped it on my masking paper, and I'm just going to peel off that sticky part, okay? And then what you do is put it, place it exactly on the flower, right on top of where you've stamped, okay? Because I want to stamp a leaf on here, and I I don't. Why is that not sticking? Did I stamp it on the wrong? wrong side. Oh, good grief. I probably did. <laughs> I'm tired now. I probably did. I'm just going to hold it down. It's not going to make a difference. Um, do you need a piece of scrap paper? Well, this is some ugly paper, but we're going to use it anyway. I think it's, is it going to come off? Yeah, I did. I stamped it on the wrong side. Oh, good grief. Yeah, you stamp it on the right side and then peel off the sticky so the sticky will stick to it <laughs> like a post-it note. So, what I'm going to do, I've got the leaf on here, okay? I've got the leaf on here, and the flower I've stamped on here, and I'm going to go to my garden green now, because that coordinates with this paper. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, actually, since I cut it on the wrong side and not the sticky part, like an idiot, um... I'm just going to hold it down right on top, right on top of that flower I stamped, okay? Hopefully this is going to work. Um, not the best thing to do, tell you the truth. I, I, I messed up by stamping it on the wrong side. But you want to completely, I'm wondering if I put a piece of, um, yeah. I've got this Scotch uh, low-tack tape. Uh that I, I always use this when I die cut. So I'm going to go ahead and just put this down here on this side just to hold this down. Okay? Now I've inked it in my garden green and right on top of that masking paper, right on top of it, doesn't matter because it's completely covered with that. The stamp, is, the stamp that I stamped is completely covered with that masking paper. I'm just going to stamp a leaf. Okay? Right on top of it. I wonder if I want to do two. Maybe I'll stamp off. Go ahead and just there. Yeah, I think that'll do it. See what that looks like. See? And it looks like the leaf is behind the flower. And I just think that's really cool. Cool technique. Yeah, except I, you know, put it on the wrong side of the paper. Good grief. I'm trying to show y'all something and I mess it up. Yeah. Okay. Let me put all these away before I lose anything because I have gone through so many stamp sets trying to find flowers and leaves that will go with it. I hope I'm not confusing y'all. Okay. So, I, oh. I need that because that's going to be on the front. But that's all masking is. It's, re it's really cool. I'll show y'all again when they're not mess up. That's ridiculous. I cut it, put stamp it on the wrong side, not the sticky side. Look at dummy. Okay, so um, I use my layering circles and the scalloped, and I'm going to go ahead. Oh, no. <laughs> I forget to put the it's, uh, it's pin in there, and I, I, I do that all the time. Hope it, hope it's not clogged. There we go. Okay. And put that on there as central as I can. And I think I want some, um, do I? Mm. Mm. Um, I think I want some yellow so saffron, or let me use my blends, a daffodil delight. And I'm just going to. I'm just going to come in here and just color this in, Daffodil Delight, right in the middle. I just like it. That's it. That's all I'm going to do, okay? With my blends, that's all I'm going to do. I'll show you all again this masking thing because I totally screwed that up. Um, and then I'm going to take some 
dimensionals, which I'm just about out, so I cut the sides down because I use every bit of it. It's perfectly good. I don't want to waste it. Um, yeah, it's usually little, like, octagons or something, but right along the edge that you, when you're down to the finish of it, you could just cut the paper, see, cut the paper and then pull it off. I don't, I don't like to waste any of it. And take this off. Oh, I probably totally confused y'all with all this. Because I'm tired now. Okay. And I'm going to put this right in the middle. Right. Let's try to get it in the middle. There we go. There we go. And then I'm going to take one of my little bumblebees and I'm going to use um, 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 let's see what kind of glue I was using. It's Kalal, but it's not um, a craft glue. It's 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 a uh, really strong glue. Um, and I'm going to put uh, I don't want to use the regular glue because this like holds wood and um, you know fabric and all that stuff. So it's called cra craft glue. I got it on Amazon. Now I'm gonna put my little bumblebee right there, and that's it. And that that does take a little while to dry. Very thick glue and it dries clear. Craft glue, PVA craft glue. Really, yeah, it works on plastics. That's why I use it when I use something like that. I'll use this kind of glue, not the art glitter. So that's it. And then, uh, like I said, I die cut um, this out in one of the. Where is it? I don't. Even, I must have put the stamp set away. Um, flowers of home. Yeah, I did. What did I do with it? Oh, good grief! I did. I put the stamp set away, and I got left my dies. Oh boy. I gotta find it. Oh, here it is. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's called Blessings of Home, and here's the dies. And that, what I did was just use this little die right here, and cut it out in um, uh, the green, and then uh, the fresh freesia, and some of them. And I oh, there's some good um, t uh, paper I can use, adhesive paper. Um, yeah, I just either cut it out in fresh papaya, pale papaya, fresh freesia, or uh, yeah, that was it. That was the flowers. But I just cut it out in the green first and then cut it out in the fresh freezer and then cut out the flowers and then just pieced it on there because I wanted something right here. You don't have to decorate it however you like. Um, I didn't want to go too overboard with it because I already been putting a gift card in it, so it's probably going to cost extra anyway, but I didn't want to go totally crazy and make it super heavy and thick so i'm just going to put this little piece right down here in the corner and i think that is so cute and that's all i'm going to do and there's my little gift card holder a little card and a gift card holder because i needed some thank yous and a couple of birthdays and uh just several little little gift card holders so that's it. I hope you all understood that. It's very easy to make. Uh, I will leave um, Mary's uh, channel so you can um, watch her tutorial. But um, that's it. Very simple to make. Very, very simple. And it's like, and at Christmas time, I have made these at Christmas time. And boy, this is a, this is a good one because they're very simple to make. And um, you can make a whole bunch of them. Uh, which is great at Christmas time. You want to send out, you know, uh, for your family or whoever, so gift cards uh, and, and a Christmas card. So, uh, yeah, really nice. I really like this. So, that's it. Um, I probably totally confused y'all with everything. But um, let me show you. I got happy mail today from Damaris. Bl um, gosh, Blessed Hands and Arts Craft. Oh, oh, oh. I always get excited because her stuff is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, Damaris. Oh, look at that little flower down here. Oh my gosh, she's always so detailed. Oh, oh my gosh, it's got a little tea bag and a little string. How cute. You're terrific. Oh, how cute. 
and the little rose there, little paper rose. Oh my gosh. Damaris, that is so stinking cute. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, honey. It's okay. <laughs> I missed everybody's. And you know, I don't have a lot of birthdays. I really don't. I've got to get some more, more birthdays. I, I don't have a lot. Um... Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, I've been so behind on everything, and, and I've got two, two birthdays coming up in May, um, that I've got to take care of, and Suzanne's birthday challenge, and Sassy Crafter Carly Dale, she is the sassiest crafter around, but this is so beautiful, Damaris, beautiful, everything you do is beautiful, oh my gosh, I love that card, what a beautiful paper, what beautiful paper, too. And then she made me, look at this, a little notes. How can, you can never, magnetic closure, you can never have a, too much, too much of this. <laughs> never. <laughs> so thank you, honey. Thank you so much. That's a cute little idea. I'll have to see what you did. Because that's really cute. Yeah, you can never have enough notebooks. Sheila had made me this one, Country Girl First, and I has, was saving it, saving it, and I said, why am I saving this? So now I write down all my, um, you know, uh, favorite, um, uh, it, sample, I pause it, recipes, you know, for uh, cards or boxes or whatever. I write them all down, and it's got, it's got a little you know, a little um, ribbon here so I know where I can go to. And I keep all of my favorite and, uh, you know, prep things that I know I'm going to make. I keep it in here. So thank you so much, Damaris. That was so sweet of you. Thank you so much. I know I've got birthday cards to get out too. Oh boy. I've got a lot to do. That's why I woke up and I said, you know what? I feel like crafting and I'm going to go in there and finish and get these packages that I need to get out and then get started on, uh, Sassy Crafter Carlita L, Carla, and Suzanne's birthday challenge and her birthday stuff. So I hope y'all like this. I'm t I hope I didn't confuse you. It's very simple. Very, very simple. I should have showed y'all everything, but I was trying to sh show you a technique that I totally messed up. <laughs> yeah, and it didn't even cover all that, so I, I might totally mess that up. I'll go by. I'll, I'll do that again for you and show you how to mask. It's really easy, but, uh, you know, I, I was in a hurry and trying to get this done. But anyway, y'all, thank you so much for watching. I'm going back to bed now. And, um, yeah, I've been going all day long, all day long. And Damaris, honey, thank you so much. You're such a sweetheart, such a talent such a talent she's over on instagram and i just love to see her stuff it's beautiful so thank you so much damaris that was so so thoughtful of you and i absolutely love this and you can never ever and i'll save it for something special i like to say when people make me these i like to save them for something special <laughs> so thank you honey thank you so much uh, I, I hope you all got this it's really very simple and at christmas time they make great Christmas cards and um, uh, gift card holders. I mean, really, really in there. They're simple to make, very simple to make. And you, um, you know, decorate them however you like. So y'all, thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon. Um, I'm going to be busy the next couple of days. My kids are moving and uh, Brian just wanted some help with the kitchen. Ugh, oh gosh. Anyway, I'm going to go help them for a couple of days. But y'all, thank you so much for watching. And thank you, Damaris, sweetheart. Love you. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye, y'all. Now I can't turn my phone off. I tell you. Let's try this.